The bank group's feature used in DDR4 SD RAMs was borrowed from the GDR5 graphics memories. In order to understand the need for bank groups, the concept of DDR SD RAM prefetch must be understood. Prefetch is the term describing how many words of data are fetched every time a column command is performed with DDR memories. Because the core of the DRAM is much slower than the interface, the difference is bridged by accessing information in parallel and then serializing it out the interface. For example, DDR3 prefetches eight words, which means that every time a read or a write operation is performed, it is performed on eight words of data and bursts out of or into the SDRAM over four clock cycles on both clock edges for a total of eight consecutive operations. Fundamentally, it can be thought of that for DDR3's prefetch of eight, the interface is eight times faster than the DRAM core. Since the core speed of the DRAM does not change significantly from generation to generation, the prefetch has increased with every DDR generation to offer increased speed at the SDRAM interface. However, continuing the trend with DDR4 would have required DDR4 to adopt a prefetch of 16. This change would make the DRAMs much larger because of all the wires that have to be included. It would make the DRAMs too expensive, so designers saved cost by not going to a prefetch of 16. More importantly, a 16-word prefetch would not match the 64-byte cache line size common in today's computers. With a 64-bit or 72-bit interface in a typical compute environment, which uses a 64-byte cache line, a prefetch of 8, along with a burst length of 8, is a better match. Any such misalignment of cache line size and burst length can have a negative impact on the performance of embedded systems. Access between different bank groups with DDR4 requires a delay of 4 clock cycles. 4 clock cycles matches a burst length of 8. Because 4 clock cycles is 8 clock edges, both rising and falling, a burst length of 8 puts out data or receives data on every clock edge in that 4 clock period very efficiently. In this case, there is no wasted bus bandwidth. One command can follow another without any wasted cycles on the bus where data is not being transferred. However, when staying within the same bank group requires more than four clocks. This caused data gap on the IO pins. 